Right, so on to the, uh, to the MakerBot. So I'm just going to run through some things we need to do um, that I found useful um, when adding the bulb light to the, to the MakerBot. Um, right. Okay, um, before you use your new build plate, there's one thing you need to be really, really wary of because um, it caught me out. Um, obviously, now that you've put another 2mm on your build plate, you're going to need to readjust and re-level your build plate. So, um, before you do anything else, um, lower your build plate, um, whichever method you use. Uh, with a maker bot, you've got the, the three points um, to account for the 2mm or else it will smack into the, um, the extruder head obviously because the extruder thinks it's 2mm lower than what it is so it'll actually hit into it. Um, on my, I wasn't able to actually do that in the end because I've actually installed um, Carl's um, aluminium um, carriage um, which is fantastic. Um, but so what that infected is actually lowered my heads a bit um, so I've done what I've done is um, prior to actually using the, this, this glass system, I um, was able to wind my plate as far down as I can. So it's actually I quite like it like this because it's actually under quite a lot of tension, so it's less likely to to wobble uh, and move around. Um, but I don't want to, even though I have probably got another two more two more spacing. I don't want to put that much tension on the plastic. Um, so um, what I ended up doing in the end was, this is what I actually did, but the, before I show you what I did, there's another way you can do it, and that is to actually move the position of your limit switch. So um, in my case, my technically my build plate's come up 2 mil higher, so I'd need to move the limit switch down um, 2 mil. Now apparently there's, there's two positions for your limit switch. Um, one's on a slot, and there's two holes. I haven't actually taken it apart to have a look um, because like I said I did it a different method. I used a different method. So that's one way of doing it. Move the limit switch. The method I chose to do in the end was just to use a I suppose what you call a, sh a, a shim. Um, so hopefully you can see that just down there. So where you can see the captain tape, my big fat finger down there, um, the yellow captain tape there there's actually a piece of um, glass underneath there, the same thickness as my table. So I just got an off-coat of the glass and stuck it on the place where the limit hit, where the limit switch strikes. So obviously the, the carriage is going to come up. Let's get zoomed in there. You can see the piece of glass. A bit rough and ready, um, but it's working really well, so why mess with it? Um, so that's 2 mil. So obviously if you had a 3 mil plate, um, a 3 mil glass plate you'd use a 3 mil um, shim or spacer and I've just taped that on there with a piece of captain tape and it's, it's really solid um, and as that comes up it, it triggers the, um, the limit switch at the appropriate place so that's the way that I've done it um, and that works fine but you know do do take care because um, the last thing you want to do is drive your extruder into your build plate um, not so much worried about the extrude the, the build plate breaking, but you really don't want to be damaging your um, extruder head or the um, ceramics, which are quite delicate around the head. So just yeah, you know, just a word of caution um, before you use your plate. Right. Um, so what we need to do now is just um, secure the our new glass build plate to the the bed in the machine. Um, obviously, make sure there's no debris on there okay um, and all I've been doing is what most people do um, in the rep, rep community um, very very simple and it seems to be the most effective way of doing it um, it's just to use um, two of these um, I don't know what you call them the build up clips I, I know MS um, so I've just got two of these um, and all you want to do is basically um, just slide them on, just so just over the the edge of the of the build plate. Hopefully you can see that. Let me see them in a bit. Yeah. So all I've done is just um, just placed it just just on the edge of the build plate. So the the ones underneath there is actually just over the lip of the the, 
the, the plate. Um, and then on the other side, just do exactly the same. So on the other side, we'll do exactly the same. And that that sort of works out quite well. Now, I'm sort of having to think, because it, it's very simple and very easy to do. One thing you need to watch out for is just the head. Yeah. When you're printing in the middle, you're not going to have any problems. Okay. Um, as soon as you get, get above that as well, obviously you're not going to have any problem. But if you've got something uh, bigger, which I've got some examples of over here. For instance, this piece that I printed over earlier this week, um, it's in two parts. Um, you know, that's going to, you just need to, just be careful, that's going to take up most of your build plate. Um, and what you can find is that um, the, the head, or the, the, the head that's not getting used, comes off the plate and can actually catch on the clips. So, in that respect, it's not ideal. Um, so just be aware of it, it's caught me out once. Um, there's another piece shot it as well this week. It's a nice, a nice piece I did on it this week, um, again for a, for a job. Um, so, again, you know, just give it a little bit of thought before you, um, before you set off and um, you should be good. Um, yeah, it's just something you, you become accustomed to. Now I've had some ideas for what we can do. I know um, Bottleworks do a very, very good upgrade um, for the, in fact I'll, I'll put a link in, in, in the YouTube. Um, Bottleworks do a really nice upgrade, the aluminium build plate and a magnetic system for, for holding the, the plate in place. Um, and I probably would have gone with that apart from the fact that I've already got a, a heated build plate. I think that upgrades more tailored towards people with the um, the two, not the two X. You know, the two hasn't got a, a heated build plate. So um, I wanted to carry on using the what I had, um, and this has worked out very, very well. Um, very, very cheap. Like I say, um, about fifty p for your plate. <laughs> so you can do I don't know. You know, you're looking at probably fifteen pounds to buy the, the the glass cutter and the glass. And you got that many plates, you won't know what to do with them. Um, and again, like I say, probably the best thing about it is that you just, once it's finished printing, you literally just unclip your clips and you remove it. Just mine, because the glass is going to be hot from the um, from your bot. And hopefully, once I've got this, so you'll lift it up onto your onto your rack to, to cool, um, and the air will, you know, obviously circulate underneath it nicely. I expect the last thing you want to be doing with a hot piece of glass, um, especially this glass, which is just nothing fancy, it's not heat treated or anything, is sticking on a cold surface because it will, will break. Now, I've been very, very surprised at how um, tough these little bits of glass are, um, considering they're only 2 mil pitcher glass. And in the last couple of weeks I've been really abusing them, you know, I've been really, really being, you know, I've, I've used quite a few of them now. Um, and I had one of these pieces stick really hard to it. Um, it was printed on Captain and I actually put a slurry down on top of the Captain just to make sure, because it's such a big plate, um, to make sure that it would stick. And it did stick, it stuck like you would not believe. Um, and in a rush to get it off, because I was excited, um, I broke the glass. Um, and that has been really, really tough with it, really rough with it. But I haven't had any break once when they've been heating. Um, I've had none break, and I've just actually put them on the bench to cool, um, just straight on a bench. And it was quite cold the other night, um, and no cracks, no breaks. Um, what I did find was actually quite a nice idea. So if you, you are actually worried about them breaking and cutting yourself, if you're a little bit more health and safety conscious, nothing from you stopping you from actually putting a nice piece of um, tape on both sides. Um, so in a sense, you're laminating it. Um, the heat's still going to transfer through it all, um, but it's going to be nice and laminated. So if it does break, it's all going to have to stay together. Um, luckily, when when the, the part that I was taking off, which is one of these parts, I think, um, it broke, um, and the it was on Captain tape, like I say, and it, it, it just stuck it all together. It just held. There's no fragments, no shards. Um, so yeah, it's not a problem. Um, so yeah, you know, like I say, ideally I would have liked to go on for something like what Bottleworks are, uh, are supplying guys. It's a really nice setup. Um, 
But like I say, I've already got a heated build plate. I don't, I don't really want to go and buy another heated build plate when I've already got one. I just wanted something I, I could do myself. And um, the nicest thing about this, apart from being flat, and I'm able to print stuff like this now, which I was, wasn't able to do before, um, is simply being able to take it out the machine. Because I'm sure you're all aware, when something sticks like that on your on the aluminium plate, um, like the standard setup, you've got something like that stuck in the end. No matter how hard you try, you are twisting and flexing this whole carriage. Um, and these are plastic. And um, you know yourself, as soon as you've done that, as soon as you put any sort of stress or tension or pressure on these to get, get your part off, even if you're using a pallet knife or whatever you use to get underneath it, you still, you know, I always cringe because I'm thinking, oh, the damage I must be doing, not the damage I must be doing, but there's no chance that that build plate's going to be level afterwards. Um, another thing I found as well, for what it's worth, um, once you get the your build plate level on the two mil glass, when you switch when you switch glasses, just when you you I've got like a levering like a um, Wing Commander's um, like a base leveling um, part I print. It's like an interactive part where you print basically a circle on there. I give it 10 shells um, and then I just manually adjust my, my heads to suit that first layer. So for its worth, whenever you change a plate, just, just run that, that script or a script similar to that. There's lots of them on um, Thingiverse and around. Um, and I found, you know, guaranteed a good print. Um, it's flat, um, don't have to be too precious with them. They're really cheap. Um, yeah, okay.